Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Nina from the Forgotten Bookshop Girl and today we're going to play with homemade texture paste. First of all, I've never used texture paste. Secondly, I've never tried to make my own texture paste, so this could be fun. And I just thought, I, I just, I would just want thought it might be fun to share it with you or we could just uh, have some fun together. Um, so what I've got, I've looked at a few uh, YouTube tutorials. Um, yeah, so basically all they've got in common that they're using, um, or most of them have in common, they're using baby powder, they're using white paint or uh, acrylic white paint. I thought I might go for the acrylic white paint because I'm hoping that this will help to for the whole paste to dry quicker. And then PVA glue, some people use um, Mod Podge, uh, but I thought I'd just go with PVA glue. Okay, and then uh, the problem is that um, everybody's using like, different different units to put it all together and mix it up. So um, I'm going with one unit of powder, like a quarter of um, glue and half of the acrylic paint because that sounded like quite a good mix, but I've not tried it. I've got a container, sorry, a jar, and all I've done was I put in um, the paint first, then I've got uh, the baby powder in there because I was afraid if I filmed it there would be just loads of um, powder everywhere and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So I put those two things in here. So I'm just going to add some some of the glue and that should then be like um, what am I doing? Quarter uh, I mean, so I just have to try and eyeball this. God, that could be interesting. So let's just Let's just go. I'm sure I got this wrong. Never mind. And then let's just mix it and see what happens. I think one thing I know that it needs to be uh, kind of not runny but quite, uh, yeah, like a paste, kind of like a paste thing. It's not looking too bad make sure that I mixed it all and then I've got a few stencils and I'll just try out some of the stencils. Gosh the good thing is that the it's so easy to mix the baby powder you know if you're baking and you're trying to mix well not that I'm baking with um, baby powder but if I was just um, comparing it to flour you know, that goes lumpy and everything. Baby powder doesn't. So cool. Okay. That does look quite good. But I just feel maybe I'll just add a little bit of... Just tiny, just a hint. Baby powder, let's see. I don't know. Oops. Okay. Then if it does work, I've already got a container to keep it in. So, <laughs> sorry, it's just really dusty. Yeah, okay, that looks like it's mixed up quite nicely. This is exciting. Okay, I'm probably going to do it all wrong, but bear with me. Okay, I thought I'd use uh, a background that is kind of a little bit darker than white, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see anything and I've got I've got some stencils out let's, oops. let's start with this one I see a problem to move over here I'm not I'm not really in the middle am I okay I've got stars so I thought stars would be quite cool I'm really nervous now okay Okay, so I'll just grab some of that, right? And then just 
there. I actually think this could be too runny still. I think I would want to add more. I know this is not really the right tool. Ah, that's not a good tool. What, do you have anything else? I'll just go with this. And then I might just add a little bit more of the powder. Don't move. For the other star. Oops. Okay, let's see. Okay, I might have put in too much. Oh no, actually, no, that looks okay. Gosh, I have, I don't really have the right tools I could do with a, I don't know, you know, not this kind of knife, but a different thing. I was wondering if this might be better. What should I do? Let's just put that over there. Get some out. Yeah, that feels better. Okay. And then just... Yeah. That is definitely better. Next. Okay, I don't want to lift it up now. Scared. Okay, okay. Not too bad, is it? On well, this star, it definitely looks better than this one. And considering that I don't have a proper spreading tool, it's 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 not too bad, is it? Okay, let's try the other stencil. And where should I put this in the meantime? Oh, uh, I didn't think this through, did I? Hang on. Sorry, that'll just go over there. I was just wondering if I should actually add more powder. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a little bit. So by now, you know, if you ask me about the, the proper mixture, not a clue. I would probably say, yeah, Oh, that's, that's too much. Oh dear. Oh dear. That is definitely too much. So, okay. Now all I can do is kind of like add a little of each. God, this is a total mess. However, let, let me just, let me just have a go. Let's just try. Okay, so... Let's do, okay, let's do this rose and just see what happens. Okay. All right. Have any of you ever tried to make your own kind of texture paste? So I'm, I'm trying to concentrate. You can tell I can't speak and concentrate at the same time. Or do you use kind of like bought texture paste and what do you use it for? I would love to know. Please tell me. Actually, even though I thought this would be too thick. Oh, okay. I should have covered this area, shouldn't I? Okay, doesn't matter. Just experimenting here. There. <sighs> okay. Let's lift this up. Whoops. Ha! So this is definitely better. So I would actually think you need to mix it until it has you know it's like really thick and you think it's too thick 
and then it seems to kind of like work really well quite like this maybe let's try the stars over there again okie doke let's go and then i have to clean it all off because otherwise it'll just stick okay let's try again and what are your favorite tools when you're using uh this texture paste then of course you could kind of like add with the stars you could add glitter oh glitter glitter okay let's see yeah definitely definitely prefer the thicker paste wonder if that's going to dry out really quick but then if I put um, a lid on the jar it should be okay okay uh, oops. gosh it's not that easy to get it all smooth as I said, I've never done this before, so bear with me. Just trying. Just trying. And then, of course, you could colour it, couldn't you? And then do something with different colours. Okay. Lift that. Yeah. I think it's definitely better. It doesn't have to be... Yeah. Weird. Okay, I'm going to let these dry. And then I'm going to think of how I could use it. Because it might be quite nice to use that kind of in mixed media projects or something. Okay, but this was fun. Okay. Um, I need I need to clean my stencils and my desk and everything but I have to say I really enjoyed this um, I hope you had fun with um, experiment with Nina and I'll see you all soon have a lovely day bye right okay I thought I'll give you a very quick update um, before I finish editing um, this little video um, anyway, because I thought it would be quite nice to see what all the stencils and the um, texture paste looks like once it has dried. So these were our stars. They dried, both have dried really nicely, so even the thinner one is really nice. So that probably would have worked, even though I have to say I prefer to work with the thicker paste then here with the uh, rose I just experimented a little bit with watercolors so it's really easy to color it with, with um, watercolors so that worked really well and then I had another play around with coloring the uh, texture paste with um, just black acrylic paint so it gave it you know, so it turned into a of dark um, grey but obviously what you could do is just instead of using the white acrylic paint you could just use black acrylic paint or actually any other colour and then you could have um, a, a modelling or a texture paste that has a different colour but just um, mixing in colours worked as well so I've been trying out some um, number stencils however the stencils are sort of a thicker plastic they're not really made for um for texture paste so it came out really really thick and i just took um some of it off but it kind of still liked the way it looked because i didn't want it to be um too in your face and i'm just kind of experimenting on here and then i had this um 
dragonfly there you go sorry uh, it's late and I'm tired so I had this and then I thought oh you know maybe I could just add a little bit of glitter and I thought that only a little bit of glitter would probably stick on the on the paste but you know it's kind of dry now and it won't really come off so um, I've got a lot of glitter but uh, yeah I kind of like more glitter than um, I really wanted on the wings so I might actually oh, how about that just thinking I might just oh yeah that works if I just I could just take a little bit off because f for me that's a bit too much too much glitter going on so that might yeah that works really well but anyway I want to just give you a quick um, update where the texture paste looked like once it has dried and I'm really looking forward to experimenting with it a bit more and um, I definitely need more stencils and I've already looked into making my own stencils so that could possibly be another video just see uh, how those stencils worked out. There are loads and loads of fabulous videos on YouTube to see how you can make your own stencils. I don't think I need to create another one but maybe I could just show you the stencils I did make if I managed to create some and show them to you. Okay but um, yeah I thought I'll give you an update here. Hope you're well and having a fantastic day and see you soon. Bye!